Hey guys, welcome to the next part on The Walking Dead. So there's like two dead people here. We can look at the corpses. We might as well do that. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. He, he's got quite a high threshold for feeling pain because he just lost an arm. And it looks really weird. Guy with no arm. I can still hear the zombies there. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Yeah, the place was pretty screwed. Look at the television. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> well, thank you for that information. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. I was just gonna say if you found something, but okay, whatever. We can keep moving. Look at this painting. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. It's a bunch of scribbles. I'm sure the world wasn't a bunch of scribbles. Anything in this bin you can find? No, guess not. How's Ben doing? You still with us, Ben? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Yeah, okay, we can help. Uh, this is also a medallion. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> well, thanks for that. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. That be true, boy. That be true. Might be the way out. You think? It, the only way out, as far as I can tell. Seems to be the only way out. I don't want really to see anything else that I could find. I have a meat cleaver in one hand. But apart from that, I don't really see. I can look out the window. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. Oh, there's a door here. Wouldn't want to open that. House is full too. Stay quiet. Reminds me of Left 4 Dead. Oh, I can open a balcony door now. Oh wait, I thought... What? What? I don't know. What's going on? I can open it now, apparently. Not much of a balcony. With the crappy view. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. I appreciate some assistance. Ah, oh, that arm. How does that not hurt? He just whacked it, the arm right in. I guess they just wanted reassurance. If a guy with one arm could do it, anyone else could. Oh crap, that's not good. Ben! Ah! Oh shoot. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? We gotta go for him. He's gonna go for him. Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason we all don't need to risk it. You worry about her. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. We'll keep an eye out. Okay. I'm okay. Just get me out of here. Shh, quiet, Ben, or they'll be on top of us. Yeah, try to keep your mouth shut. I'm sorry. Just get me up. My legs hurt, I think. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? 
I thought you. Uh oh. Oh crap! Has he got? S oh man! Fucking hell! What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. No, you know you have. We can get you up. We can. Uh... Ow! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. You have a bar in front of your stomach. He's quiet. We could take our time and save his life. And he's just. They can be super quiet. <laughs> uh oh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh God! Don't let them get to me. Shoot him in the head, he's got that bullet left. Do you have any bullets left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! Kitty? Lee, Lee, it's okay. No, kid. No, it's not. It's just something I gotta do. You know that. No, don't do this. You could have just came. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah. <laughs> What happened? Well, that went well. They're gone. Just three people left. God damn. God. I heard a shot. Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. God, poor fucking kid. Why didn't he just shoot the guy and come up with us? That just sucks ass. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He wasn't a bad guy. A lot of folks might not have always agreed. Maybe even me. We should go. Welcome to The Walking Dead, where people don't live as long. Right behind you. This is crazy. Ah. Well, that only leaves three people left, along with the guy who holds Clementine. But then there's also the... Also the old guy, Vernon. But I believe they're going to the hotel now where Clementine's parents Do you stayed. Talk? That's two of them now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. 
We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. Then we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny gone, it means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Yeah, you do. Let me take all the risks. That's not what I mean, necessarily. It's what I mean. It's what we gotta do. That doesn't look Fuck. very safe. Be careful across here. You wouldn't want to fall down there. Just keep on walking. Keep on walking. Don't look down. Don't look down. Why do you look down? Look up. That is a long way down. And there's also a zombie. On. There's also a zombie there. Du, 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 du. River Street's just up ahead. Whoa, careful. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. I'm sorry. It's okay. Mercy. Wow, that's a lot of zombies. Marshall Hotel is around the corner of the block. Why do all the vital buildings always stand out? It doesn't make sense. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Uh oh. He just had to go and say it. Going first. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first. In case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. He said, yeah, like he was confident and what the hell gives? Just go nice and slow. Move across, move across the sign to the side. Okay. Doesn't look too good. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. I'm just like bait by by now. I'm just like a cross. Oh. Ah, shit. Oh fuck. Oh crap. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. I didn't mean that. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. I didn't understand what he meant by... Um, I thought he was going to jump to a ledge or something. I didn't expect him to go down. Holy crap. Where's Dead Rising? Where's Chuck Green when you need him? Well, time to play 300.
This is not good. This cannot be good. And I'm dead. Great. Who the hell decides to charge in through an army full of zombies? It doesn't make sense. I can't, I don't seem to have much of an option. Do I just click on any random guy? Seems so. I'm a badass for walking. How is he getting through all these guys? They're not really attacking him either. Wow, I'm so badass right now. Hiya! Oh god, he just chopped his head off. And there's a car. Lee doesn't look so good. Oh, Lee is screwed up really bad. This place is creepy. There's literally no one here. I think some, I'm going to get a cheap scare now. Something is going to jump out and it's not going to be human, I guess. I heard footsteps. Just have a look, okay? Don't touch anything. Is he the guy? I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Oh, you don't say. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't have a walkie talkie. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. Okay, fine. That's what I thought. I could have just lied to him. You shouldn't lie. Sit down. Man, does this guy look creepy or what? What does he want? Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food. Oh, Crowder. Things you need to survive. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? 
I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Oh man, do I really have to go through this? Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? No. That's not true. What about your wife? I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Sounds wrong. And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. Never said you were. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. How did you know this crap? I did what I had to. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. It was impossible to save him. To save them both. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? Creepy guy. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No, shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No, no, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Dude, is this how it ends? I just get shot? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too.
I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. That guy is weird. you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. Oh, can I she do anything? She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh, dear. Die! 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 Oh god! Holy crap! I just kill him? It wasn't the first time. Oh, do I have to kill him? 